In this video, we will go to Odaiba in Tokyo. I will give you a hotel room tour at Daiwa Roynet Hotel and we'll also check out the Akari restaurant at the ground floor. We will also roam Diver City Mall. We are on the way to our next hotel in Odaiba. Odaiba is part of Tokyo, but it is on a separate man-made island. Yep, it's a man-made city. It is a collection of small islands, that's why we will often see rivers in this area. We've just arrived here at Daiwa Royinet Hotel in Ariake, Odaiba. We booked this 4-star hotel through Agoda.com. The reception is at the second floor. It already feels elegant just upon entering this hotel. The interior shouts classy and cozy colors. The lobby is so spacious. There's a lot of counters for the reception area. I can say that they are marketing wildly to Chinese guests as most of the receptionists can speak Chinese. There's also a lot of sofas for waiting guests. We just checked in and are about to go to our room. By the elevator, we can see a floor guide of amenities available at the hotel. A coin laundry is available at the third floor. Very convenient for month-long travelers like us. Going to the room is also quite secure as you need a keycard in the elevator to get to the floor of the room. Let's check out the room that we're staying at for the rest of the week. You need the key card to open the door and pop the card in this slot for the lights. Here's a quick peek at our beds. At the back of the door, you can find the emergency exit map and also magnetic signs that can be stuck outside the door to communicate with the cleaning staff. And then here is where you can hang your pants and jackets. Daiwa Roynet Hotel is a formal place where people can hold formal gatherings. So for some guests attending these events, this trouser press is useful. A mirror hangs on the other side of the entryway. This room is just for the toilet. You have here a sink to wash your hands, two racks for toilet paper, and remote for the Japanese toilet. On the other side is a sink for toothbrush. They change the towels daily. My favorite part is the bathroom, as not do they only have a shower, but they also have a huge bathtub. The shampoo, conditioner, and lotion are in bottles. And we have here an over-the-head rain shower with high water pressure that definitely makes showering a lot faster. Moving on to the rest of the room is a floor-to-ceiling window with a good view of Odaiba City. You can even see a little bit of water from here. And here are the beds. with a TV, desk, and a sofa across. At the desk, there's a tissue, notepad, lamp, reception phone, and a mobile phone with data. Yup, this mobile phone is provided by a company called Handy. How it works is that the hotel will lend you this phone, and you can take it with you during your trip as long as you're staying in Daiwa Roynet Hotel. Pretty amazing, right? It's a common thing in a lot of new hotels nowadays. The TV remote is in Japanese, so they provide a manual that has English and Chinese translations. Beside the beds are controls for the room lights, a USB charging socket, and an alarm clock. Here are the stuff that we can find under the TV. There's an information book about the hotel. 
there is also a desk mirror. Different cables for connectivity are also provided. Here's what the sofa looks like. It's so nice to have it. You can use it as a reading nook, or like what we did, we just put our luggage open there. I found out a bit later that there's a cabinet hidden beside the bathroom. The cabinet door looked like a wall at first. It's a pocket door that reveals the inside of the cabinet. They provide bathrooms and slippers for indoor use, and a safe where you can put your important stuff. Of course, there's a rack where you can hang shirts, or you can put the folded ones on the shelf above it. So far, I feel quite cozy in this room. The lights are warm and sleep inviting, perfect for when you're tired after day tours. It was already past lunchtime and we were quite hungry. At the ground floor of the hotel, you can find this restaurant that serves buffet for lunch. It's open for everyone even if you're not staying at Daiwa Rainet Hotel. I highly recommend it. This is my favorite restaurant in our whole Japan trip. You only have to order one main dish to enjoy the rest of the buffet. And compared to regular Tokyo restaurants, the dishes are quite affordable, ranging from 1,000 to 1,800 yen. There are healthy food choices, and the taste is so flavorful. We already grabbed food from the buffet while waiting for the main dish. There's a variety of vegetables and dressings, so you can make your own salad. Drinks are also part of the buffet, and there's plenty to choose too like orange juice, apple juice, plum juice, coffee, and different kinds of tea. In our whole stay in Daiwa Hotel, we ate lunch here every day. Here's our salad for appetizer. And here's our main dish. Although the plate is so big, they filled up our plates full. And it is so yummy! If you would also want to try this hotel and restaurant, I will put the links to the location in the description below. Don't forget to check them out later! In the late afternoon, we head out to Diver City Mall. It's just a few train stations away from our hotel. So far, everything in Odaiba feels like a concrete jungle. I've mentioned earlier that it's an artificial island, right? Diver City is not different in that matter. But there is something unique here that some anime fans would love. Maybe you already know it from watching the preview. I'll show you in a bit later. For now, let's roam around the mall. There's a lot of shops and activities to do here. Hello Kitty fans would enjoy this shop. The camera is also available here. There's also a department store and a grocery. In the upper floors, there's a bowling alley and a soccer court. Sorry I forgot to take a video of those. Their food court houses a lot of chains and there are plenty of tables for visitors. We were still pretty full from our buffet lunch, so we only ate small for dinner. Now this is what we came here to see. The huge Gundam statue in front of Diver City. It looks so real as if it's going to move and fly anytime soon. So cool. We just can't miss a photo with it. That was pretty much it for that day. The next day, we decided to stay in our hotel. We ate lunch in the other restaurant of Daiwa Roinet Hotel, which is called The Room. Do you have an English menu? We don't actually have an English menu, but I can explain the menu. Okay. Um, but What's the lunch menu? This? this is the lunch menu. Um, well, everything here is the lunch menu. And this is today's lunch. and. 
today would be the pork, um, pork saute. The menu is not the same as in Akari, but their food is also delicious. Sorry, I forgot to take a video. On that same day, I actually went to Wanza Ariake Bay Mall, which is just a few steps from our hotel. I shot a walking tour of Kendu, which is a 100 yen shop. It will be uploaded after this video. You can subscribe to watch it right away after I upload it. At night, the weather was so cold, as cold as 12 degrees Celsius. We ate again at Akari for dinner. They don't have buffet, but they have a different and heavier menu at dinner time. And still, they don't disappoint. We slept with Happy Tommy. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see the next videos of this trip, click the red button to subscribe. If you find this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you may leave them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them and maybe feature it in the upcoming videos. Don't forget to check the description box for links to locations and some useful information. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Whatever you need to do, go for it.